Hello, I am back from Japan and therefore we are about to do my collective haul for my time in Japan which was two weeks all over the country from theme parks and general shopping and just all, all the things really. So we'll start with Studio Ghibli. Half of this is from the Studio Ghibli Museum and the rest of it is from like Akihabara and Kitty Land and Harajuku and places like that. So I has a no face figure which is also a money box so that's pretty cute and appropriate because uh, uh, I'm asking for gold yeah hope you've seen the movie Totoro he is a money box as well but they're just like really I don't know they're really nice so they do just as figures it's a little bit dusty our tickets from the Studio Ghibli Museum the Saturn theater that plays like mini sequels and stuff to films that you can only see there and you can't film you can't take photos and it's a very painful experience but so magical i got a couple of decks of cards i got one spirited away one and one kiki's delivery service so they're just cards with juju on the back and then all different scenes from the film on the cards so that was very sweet and i enjoyed that i got this now <laughs> What we would call a tea towel is like a like a bathroom hand towel. I don't know. They're just kind of like thin tea towels. I got one. I got a spirited away one. So that's got the whole crew on it. I got two sets of origami paper. I've got a spirited one and some Totoro one. It's so hard not to buy Totoro everything in Japan because <laughs> if you want pins and you're going to the Ghibli Museum, try and get them there because I didn't see them anywhere else. I've got a little Kiki. The Egg Princess from Doman and the Egg Princess. Now I have seen this film, somehow it made its way online, but I don't think it's it's supposed to be on the internet. But if you can find it, you should watch it because it's really good. I didn't say that. Totoro with a little bit of wheat. Got a Gigi. He's super cute. And got a cat bus. There's actually a cat bus at the Studio Ghibli Museum, but you can only ride it if you're under 12 years old and uh, too old. And the last thing I got that is Ghibli related, this is like one of the very few lavish purchases that I made in Japan. Uh, it's justified. It's so justified. Just look. It's a leather Kiki delivery surface wallet and it is so beautiful and on the back I'm not sure if you're about to see the detail, but it's even got like an embossed GG. Like they were not messing around when they made this wallet. It's just beautiful. <laughs> I think you know where I went next. This is my school robe, guys. I am a Ravenclaw. I don't care what Pottermore says. Yes, I may be a little bit nasty, but not so much that I have to be in Slytherin whatever I just followed my heart and I got a Ravenclaw robe because that's who I really am so at Harry Potter world there there's the Ollivander shop front and then there's the the wand shop so at the wand shop I bought quite a few wands as gifts but the one I kept for myself is this one which is Miss Luna Lovegoods it's so beautiful anyway got my wand um, I didn't get too much at Harry Potter World just because it was so busy like it was one of those there was like three gift shops and every single one was like uh, little little sardines I've got Ravenclaw pin just my crest for when I'm not wearing my robe naturally and a prefect badge because I I would be a prefect and a time turner which I need in real life very badly but for now I just have this little guy should I stay in the robe miscellaneous things that I got is next uh, I got these two little guys kind of sea creature accessories are a big thing in Japan at the moment there's a lot of starfish and seashells and things like that and also this little guy that I'm wearing today this egg it's actually glow in the dark and doubles as a brooch continuing on with the sea theme I got a little oh jeez I've got this little guy little belty with some seashells being a classic gaijin I also got some standard Japanese touristy things I got a bunch of Daruma dolls I'm I'm actually like very inspired by Darumas I, I like the idea I like the idea of them so I got four I got red which is family yellow which is money pink 
which is love and white which is health and I just felt like they were the ones that were most relevant to my goals at the moment so one of my favorite things that I discovered in Japan was loft the best store in the world oh my god I was in there so much like it's embarrassing how many how many times I went to loft but I got this Sailor Moon eyeliner which I doubted because I was like okay the selling point is Sailor Moon it's probably not actually that exciting but it is a good eyeliner like if you use Maybelline Master Precise it's like that so this is actually just a spare one that I bought because I started using it while I was in Japan and I was like I don't want this to run out too soon and this is an open one so it is a crescent moon wand when we're in Harajuku we found this like random sticker shop but it was really cool so I ended up getting a few stickers just got a made of Japan got a little Dracula bat and <laughs> got this one the ladybug builder I don't know I just thought they were fun but now I have that turmoil of where to put them like I love stickers I love buying stickers but then it's like the stress of finding the perfect place for a sticker this is another one of my favorite things I have never seen this before not even on the internet and I was in Akihabara in this huge collectibles building and it was just there and Jet was like you have to get it and I was like I know I haven't even taken this out of the box yet like I am very excited about this It's a replica of Coraline's Coraline doll that she finds in Coraline. Let's look. I don't really want to take her out of the box, but I'm doing it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look. Oh. She's so beautiful. I just... I'm gonna have to find a really good spot to display her because just oh my god so the next thing that I got really enthused about while I was in Japan is packed lunches and bento boxes because I work a lot um, and you know eating is a thing that you want to do and it's always nice to have a packed lunch and not just go buy a meat pie as delicious as that is it's probably bad for you these are mostly from loft again and I have one from the Pokemon Center. So these are my favorites. These are just two little apples and they have a main compartment and then a little bubby compartment. They look pretty small, but like if you, you can fit a full serving of rice in here and then there's another top compartment for, you know, like Oreos and important things. Sour straps. Got a good Atama one. Good Atama is someone that we discovered while we were in Japan. So classic. He's just a little lazy egg yolk and just does not want to be eaten, but is just not doing anything about it. So this one's really sweet. It has two compartments as well, and it's got some chopsticks in there. It's interesting because like, you look at bento boxes and you're like, they're tiny and I'm hungry. This isn't gonna be enough, but they are. Like, you can fit a lot of stuff in a bento box. This is the one I got from the Pokemon Center. I got, this is really just more of a basic lunchbox with a bunch of cutie Pikachus on it. Also got some little Pikachu chopsticks. These two are kind of matchy matchy and they're just these really crudely drawn monsters like this one just says no fishing and this one is like a like a dude with flippers on his hands with a surfboard unzipping out of his chest just saying let's smoke and also from the Pokemon Center as well as the chopsticks and that little bento box I got these two I also have a pair of uh, Bulbasaur socks but they're in the wash because I forgot about this haul and I just wanted to have my things. <laughs> I also got this hat. I really love it. I realize it looks makes me look like a little farm girl, but that's, I'm fine with that. Um, everything left is clothing, really, so I can do a quick little try on for you. But the last little thing I got was when we were in Harajuku for the millionth time because I just wanted to go there every single day. It's, it was one of my favorite places. I found this little jewelry designer and everything was like insects and like little lizards and stuff. I was so excited to have found them and uh, I ended up getting this tiny little gold rhinoceros beetle. On a chain and I don't usually wear a necklace so this was like mm. anyway that was one of my favorites so 
bear with me just a moment and I will throw on some of these clothes for you. Basically, everything I'm going to show you is from either somewhere in Harajuku or Shibuya 109 because just that's where I ended up, really. So the first thing I got is the dress that I'm wearing now from Harajuku and it's like a t-shirt dress. I wear that shell belt with it. And yeah, it's just a bunch of mushrooms with eyes on it. It's very oversized. A lot of Japanese fashion is big. The second thing I got was these extremely daggy and loose fitting, but so terribly comfortable high-waisted pants that just have this toast print all over them. These are from Harajuku as well. I have this very sheer, but very gorgeous blouse that has really nice collar detail and I've got these these are huge in Japan they're like kind of culottes kind of like plazo pants and they're just is it a skirt is it pants you don't know until the girl does like a cartwheel because there's just so much fabric and I just I love them so much I got two Gudetama shirts because Gudetama is my idol, my spirit animal pretty much and yeah, they're just comfy shirts so I'm just throwing on with everything and I got this blue denim pencil skirt also from uh, should be one nine. I also got heaps of socks <laughs> There's this hosiery brand in Japan called Tutu Anna and they are oh, I went nuts. It was like three pairs of socks for a thousand yen, which is like $11 so that's that's pretty good especially for like sassy fashion socks i also got this this is my suitcase but it's like a literal suitcase anyway guys that concludes my haul today from my trip to japan um i'm gonna try and get some vlogs up as soon as possible from the trip but for now here was this i hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye